Yo, 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 it's a Root Flow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys? Doing today, bringing you another video. Hashtag RIP Twitter. If you guys have been paying attention to social media at all, you will notice that over a million people have tweeted about Twitter. This hashtag RIP Twitter is going crazy. If you guys don't know what's going on, I just wanted to talk about it because I don't understand how companies do this. I personally don't understand. I cannot see how a company would completely change something around to the extent of this, all right? So if you don't know what's going on, Twitter has recently been talking about changing up their website format. Instead of you getting tweets in chronological order, they want, it to, they want to make it so that the most popular stuff gets viewed first. So when you go onto Twitter, they want you to see like Justin Bieber's tweets and then my tweets right here, you know, and then everybody else. That's what they want you to see on Twitter. That's what they're trying to do. That's what they're attempting to do. And everybody, the, the backlash has been crazy. Hopefully, I just don't understand how many times will it take for somebody like, I, hey, you know that website that we run that's completely in chronological order? You know that one, right? Yeah, of course I know that one. It's Twitter. It's the greatest thing ever, right? Yeah. Well, that website, instead of making it in chronological order, let's go ahead and just put whatever we want at the top. Let's go ahead and put like some news at the top. Let's go ahead and put whatever, you know, celebrity tweets. Let's put them at the top. Instead of you, dude, I'm just saying, we as the people that, you know, use Twitter and we as the people that do things on these sites, I think that we should have a say in this. And I believe that with over a million people tweeting the hashtag RIP Twitter, hopefully, the you know the Twitter overlords see this and they say you know what maybe we're making a mistake here because me as a user I don't want to have to see you know Kim Kardashian's tweet about Kanye West and how he's the OG and we got to respect him as such I don't need to see that tweet every time I log into Twitter when I get on Twitter and I like scroll down I refresh the page what I want to see is the new tweets that are coming out right now. That's what I personally want to see. I don't want to see what businesses are trying to sell me. I don't want to see what Justin Bieber said, unless, of course, what Justin Bieber said just happened three seconds beforehand, then yes, then I want to see it. But if it didn't just happen, then I don't want to hear about it. I feel like Twitter, Twitter has been the place where you go to get live updates on everything that's going on. That's what Twitter has been. It hasn't been, it, it's not Facebook, dude. Twitter is not Facebook, on Facebook if you guys don't know. Uh, all the like stuff that it thinks you want to see is at the top. Dude, I'm a grown man, all right? I'm 24 years old. If I want to see something, I'll click on it, okay? You don't have to force me to see it, all right? I personally, and I think that a lot of people feel the same, obviously, uh, at least a million people feel this way, but on a website, I just think that we should be in control, right? I, I know what I want to look at, Twitter, okay? I love you, bro. I love you, Twitter. Bro fist, you know what I'm saying? I love you, but I know what I want to look at. You don't have to show me. You don't have to recommend, you know, the top tweets to me. You don't have to do any of that. I got it under control, bro. I will look through the tweets. I'll be fine. I got my big boy pants on. You ain't got to hold my hand. You ain't got to spoon feed me tweets from Justin Bieber, bro. You ain't got to do that. I mean, if it's, like, if it's tweets from somebody like Eva Mendez, or, you know, Kate Upton, then yes, please, hand feed me the tweets. But besides that, dude, there's really no reason to do it. I don't know what Twitter's trying to do, but hopefully, with over a million people tweeting about it, they change their mind on this, dude, because otherwise, I'm going back to MySpace, and uh, that's pretty much what will happen. Also, I want to go ahead and give a little shout out to my buddy, Cabos. He actually made a hilarious video about this Twitter. I was talking about this, and I actually watched his right before this. Go ahead and check him out. He'll be the top link in the description below. He's trying to get to 4,500 subs. If you could go give him a little peep, drop a subscription, that'd be awesome of you guys. And let me know what you think about this whole Twitter thing, man. Hashtag rip Twitter, son. Hopefully they change their mind and they decide not to do this because obviously nobody wants it. Don't become the fine bros Twitter. Don't become, I don't know, anybody else that anybody's mad at on the internet right now, which is pretty much everybody all the time. The internet is generally just like an angry place, bro. You know what I'm saying? But either way, I love you guys. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a like on the video. Let's shoot for like a thousand likes. That'd be sick, bro. Love you guys a ton. And I am over and now.